Hi everyone, Lisa here with your Paracozy Book Club choices for August. I'm a little under the weather today, so that's why I'm not on camera, uh, but our theme is psychics. And I think to get you in the mood, everyone should watch the new show, Maggie, which is on Hulu. There's only 13 episodes. It's like a rom-com, but it's super funny and she is a psychic. So moving on from that, um, the first book that you have, and I have six books for you to choose from, and this is in no particular order. Uh, this is Death at First Sight. It is from Lena Gregory, and it's actually traditionally published by Berkeley, which I was surprised because usually uh, trads don't do magical cozies or not a lot. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. Anyway, she's a psychic. It doesn't really explain here why, but she left New York City and moves back to her small hometown, and then she's sharing a reading with somebody in it just isn't good news. So this person, Ellie, her mother comes and yells at her, um, you know, for giving this bad reading and then she ends up dead. So then she becomes the prime suspect. The next one is Pretty Little Flyers, a pet psychic magical mystery from Erin Johnson, who is one of my favorite authors. So I thought I'd include it, even though she's not really a psychic. So this is a shifter who can talk to animals. And so she is using the animals to help her to appear psychic. And that's why it's called the Pet Psychic Magical Mysteries. And it just looked kind of fun. So I thought we could try that out. Next one is Psychic Undercover by Amy Gibbons. And it is the SD. F, paranormal mystery. So she's actually part of an FBI team that investigates all supernatural events, and she is a psychic, which is how she made it onto the team. And I just thought that was kind of interesting to see it in real life, like where they're pretending that magic is, I shouldn't say pretending, they're not pretending. They are just telling everyone that they're magical and everyone is kind of like out of the paranormal closet, right? Vampires, um, shifters, and everything else, including psychics. And so I thought that would be fun to check out. I just finished rewatching The Ghost Whisperer, and I thought this one looked kind of fun. So it's called One Woman's Junk by J.B. Lynn, and it's a psychic consignment mystery where all of these sisters who have no magical powers go because their grandmother has died and she wants her ashes spread out in the ocean. And then she also happened to own a consignment shop. But while they're spreading the ashes, all of them are struck by lightning, and the youngest sister uh, has a powerful magical ring, and then she starts seeing visions. And her grandmother, who's dead, has been accused of stealing a designer handbag that she wants to help clear up. And then at the same time, her love interest is a carpenter, which I thought that was kind of unique because I've never seen a carpenter as a love interest unless it's like a fixer-upper kind of book. Next one is Mystic Pieces by Ada Bell, and it is first in the Shady Grove Psychic Mysteries. And in here, we have someone who is working at an antique shop, again, just like the other one. She doesn't, she didn't inherit it. She just works there. She's a college student. And for whatever reason, when she turned 21, she all of a sudden got all of her psychic abilities, which comes from touching objects. And then like she's going to try to use those special skills to help her boss, who's been accused of murdering one of the customers. And the last one is Mediums and Murder by Ellen Wren Burke. And this is number one in the Prickly Pear Psychic Mysteries, which I guess Prickly Pear is a make-a-believe town over in Arizona. Anyways, she has the ability to hear animals, but she also has some other psychic abilities. She's not really sure how to harness them. And then her friend turns up dead. So she's not really sure what to do. But then her aunt arrives into town and tells her the whole family has magical abilities and she's going to help her. And then she can start looking into her friend's death and figure that out because she saw a vision of it, but she wasn't sure where to go after that. That's a wrap. Make sure to join the Facebook group and vote for your choice before tomorrow night.